Hi! I missed you! Thank you so much for clicking on to this video. My name is April and this is April Budgets. I am a 36-year-old cash stuffing factory working mama of four on a journey to become debt-free so that I can buy me and my babies a house. If you want to join me in my journey, please, please hit that subscribe button. The best part about YouTube when you're on a budget is that it's absolutely free. Today's video, I am so gosh darn excited to do. We are doing a cash stuffing video. We are going to be stuffing my variables, some sinking funds, the bills. We are stuffing it all. We have $836 to stuff today. Can you believe it? I am so stinking proud of myself. Those of you who don't know, I did switch jobs and this was my first full paycheck. It also had a little bit of overtime on it, so I'm very excited. So before we get started, let me go ahead and show you, give you a little glimpse on the way my mind was working um, this month. So we went ahead and I paid all my bills. And so we have our variable expenses and I know these are higher, but that is because we're only doing two paycheck budgets this month. So this is actually two weeks worth of variable expenses. We are going to be doing some savings challenges this month, this um, paycheck. And we are stuffing our bills and then some sinking funds. Um, I do wanna note that this $40 for the back to school envelope, um, I actually cut my dad's grass. And no matter how much I refuse to take it, he would not take no for an answer and pretty much forced me to take this $40. So I told him, okay, I will take it on the condition that I will spend it on the kids for back to school. So that was the only way I would agree to take it. I didn't want the money. He's my dad, but he, of course, loves to spoil the grandchildren, so I feel like that was a happy compromise. <laughs> so this is our budget. I do realize that I have quite a bit of money left over. The thing is, is I am not entirely sure if I have bills coming out or not. So I've left myself a buffer and I've done that just in case something comes out that I forgot about. Last month was very chaotic and I did not pay that much attention to my bank account or my budget. So this month I'm being very diligent. So whatever is left over at, um, next by the time my next paycheck gets deposited, that money is going to be stuffed into savings challenges. So I realize that that's probably not the best way to do it, but with my ADD, with my dyslexia, to me, that's the easiest thing to do. I also don't wanna miss paying a bill. So I have everything I need. I will have all my bills stuffed. I'll have my wallet stuffed. So having that money sitting there in the bank really is no harm done at this point. So I'm so, so excited. So let's get into stuffing this cash. First, you always, always got to start with paying your bills. Those of you who are new to cash stuffing, what I like to do with my bills is I like to split my bills up into how many paychecks I have. In my case, I went from having four paychecks a month to having two. So now I split my bills into two payments. So that is just how I do it. Um, I found for me, that's the easiest way. If you are new to budgeting, I want you to know that there is no right or wrong way to budget. Do what works for you. Um, I know a lot of people follow Dave Ramsey and do that zero-based budget and like to have every dollar do a job. Me, I'm not um, that great with numbers, and so I just do what works best for me. And this is what works. So, gas is going to be getting $40. 
and I do believe that gas is due. So we now have 20, 40, 60, 85. And I can't remember if I paid the gas bill this month or not. The electric bill is going to be getting 40 as well. Now our electric bill last month was $92 and that was because we are running our air conditioners. It's getting a little hot here in Wisconsin. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, and 20. So that is perfect. I also want to tell you that by doing my bills this way, I have not had, I have not been late on a bill in six months. So since I started doing it this way, I have never been late on a bill. So really, if, if you want proof whether it works or doesn't, it really does work. The water bill is going to be getting 40. Now I do have to pay the water bill. It's due on the 20th. I need $172. So if I have enough, I'm actually going to be setting it to the side so that I can get that bill paid. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 75 and 80 so i think i'll keep the 175 and we are going to keep the five in here and start over again the phone is going to be getting 80 dollars um this past month i actually did sign up for things like paperless billing and auto pay, I did that and that actually took money off my bill. So I actually think that my phone bill is going to go down a little bit. And hey, every dollar counts. So we will see. The internet is going to be getting $30 and I know the internet needs paid. So we have 20, 30, 45, 50, and 5 the internet now I stuff my bills whether I need the money or not and I do that because my goal is to be a complete month ahead on all my bills um, our self loan is going to be getting $36 and I know this is coming up now the self loan is something um, you can use to build your credit. Um, I My plan is for like two years. However, I don't wanna sit and pay this for two years, which is why I like to make a double payment so I can get it done in one year instead of two. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, and five. And that is exactly what we'll need to make the payment. So I'm excited about that. Our loan, we are finally using this one. So we pay a personal loan every month. It is for $125. So I finally am splitting it up into two, which is $62 a paycheck instead of just $125 out of one paycheck. So um, I'm very proud of myself for finally doing it that way. And subscriptions is going to be getting 50, and we now have 75. So that is it for our bills. Next up, we are gonna be doing my variable spending, um, which is the wallet. Um, and we are gonna be doing things a little differently because um, I'm actually going to be putting away the money that I will be cash stuffing for next week into this binder. So let's get going on our wallet here. So I budgeted $30. Now I don't need a whole lot of money for gas these days. So I'm actually only budgeting 15 a week, which is amazing because I used to budget 60 um, a week. So can you believe that? That is just crazy to me. So we are going to put the $15 in here. And next week when we do our cash stuffing, 
um, when we do our check-in and our wallet, um, we will go ahead and check in and refill it. Eating out. Eating out is going to be getting 25. And I actually am only going to give eating out 25. And if, if we end up using it, we do. Um, if we uh, don't, then we'll roll it over to the next week. Now, spending. Let's get to the spending envelope over here. Let's see if I can do this right because we get $40 a week. And one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. I really hope I didn't mess up any of my money because the truth is this is my second take doing this video. This is like the very first time I've ever had to do that. There was just sirens and yeah, so instead of, yeah, I just started over again. And you already know that we have to play the wild card challenge. It's a must. Now, I don't wanna cheat because the last time I picked, I picked the Jack. So we will be stuffing the Jack because this is my second time trying to um, do this and I don't want, yes, so to me that's cheating. To some of you, you could be like, who cares? It's your challenge, play it how you want, but I did just, I picked the Jack, so. That's $20. We still have that queen, y'all, and that queen is worth $30. So there should be $20 here. So we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Going into spending. Next up is household. And household will be getting 60 a week and I believe that is that oh our groceries now I budgeted $200 um, which would be, which would come out to a hundred dollars a week or 200. I've decided that I'm going to put the 200 in here, um, and roll it over each week. Now we did already go to the grocery store, so we have a hundred left. So we will see, um, I will probably end up increasing my, um, grocery budget, um, just because, I can. I don't. I make um, my money. I don't have my car payment anymore. I don't have as much debt. So I feel like I don't have to really, um, you know, save money in that area. You know what I mean? Um, I hope that makes sense. Okay. It is time for my favorite, favorite binder the April binder. Here she is in all her glory. This is my favoriteest binder to stuff. So first things first, we have to stuff the nails and hair. And nails is going to be getting 80. And I am actually going to, um, Let's do this. I'm going to use this. I'm going to change this from five. I'm going to do ten. So it's ten each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's see if we um, can stuff a little extra. So now remember what miss shalanda says this is from saving with shalanda this is your money this is your savings challenge you play it how you want to play it and i don't ever want to not listen to miss shalanda i don't want to get in trouble for not listening so i'm gonna listen 
Next up is Maid of Honor, and Maid of Honor is going to be getting $10. And we do have a $10, which we can color here. Let's get that. Now this is just a fun little one from um, Spooky Budgets. This is only for $50 and that's okay. I just wanted to play something when I stuff these challenges because why not? I never know if these are dry or not. Now this is um, Made of Honor is something I, I'm going to be saving for for the next year. So next up is YouTube. And YouTube is going to be getting $10 as well. And do we have a 10? We do. We have a kitty. This is from, what is, um, she has uh, Danielle's studio. I am so sorry. I will leave it here. I'm having a brain fart. But this was a freebie challenge that she had. And all you had to do was contact her on Etsy and she would send it to you. Um, Danielle Craft Studios, I believe. But I will leave it here just in case. I'm so sorry, Miss Danielle. The P.O. Box is going to be getting 10. Now, I did do something exciting. Um, I did actually pay for the P.O. Box. I did reserve it. Um, I just have to go to the post office and get everything taken care of. So I'm hoping, um, before I release this video, I will have my PO box. Um, if I do, I will leave it right here. So if anyone wants to send me happy mail, they can send me happy mail there. And so we got to save up because for three months, it was about $70. And I would really love to just pay for a whole year ahead of time. Let's see, what else did we do? I believe we did pets. And then, so pets is going to be getting 15 And then Etsy is going to be getting 10. And I have money left over. And my guess is because I am dyslexic and it was supposed to go somewhere else and I probably forgot. So what I'll probably end up doing is just putting that towards um, my savings money because I have not taken the savings money out of the bank yet. So that's probably where it goes. So that is it for our April binder. And while we're here, I want to do one last thing. So before I go, I do want to stuff my money that I got from my dad. So he gave me $40 and this is a 32 envelope challenge. So uh, let's do um, the 31 and then let's do the nine, that is $40. And then instead of doing the savings, let's just go ahead and throw this $8 in here as well. So we have the $8 one here. Now this one is probably, like I'm probably going to end up finishing this one on my next paycheck just because I got to take the kids shopping. Um, but for now, it's a pretty good start. I must say so myself. I think next year we are going to start this even earlier. Like I feel like as soon as we are done with this one, we are just going to start it up again and slowly work on it. 
that is it for today's cash stuffing i hope you guys enjoyed yourself as much as i did if you enjoyed what you watched go ahead hit that like button please subscribe if you haven't already i am getting so close to 1k and i'm even more excited for that 1k giveaway yes y'all until next time stay amazing my friends bye